looking for any container or anything which can hold water. It doesn't need a lot of water for that mosquito to deposit its eggs. Um, very shallow quantity of water they can deposit in it. The rain has fallen and this has collected water. And if it is allowed to sit in the environment for a couple of days, the Aedes aegypti will breed on it. This is a plastic over a pail and the water is in the under plastic. This is a beautiful breeding site for the Aedes aegypti mosquito. We have a similar one right here. There's water on the top of this container and the Aedes aegypti mosquito will breed in it. Once the water begins to evaporate and she has a space to lay her eggs, she will lay her eggs and this will then become a breeding site. Turn it over. We do appreciate that roof gutters are very necessary in some areas that do not have pipe water, so it helps to collect the rainwater when it comes. However, if these roof drains become blocked by trash or other things, then it makes the water stagnant and it becomes a major breeding site for the Aedes aegypti mosquito. So it's important if you have these roof gutters that you keep them clear that the water is able to run. Even among your plants, we have plants that are, because of how the leaves overlap each other, they are able to collect water. And Aedes aegypti loves to breed in those environments. We suggest that persons do. If you think you love these plants and you want them, put them in pots. So when they do collect water, it's able to, you're able to pick up the pots, drain them out and put them down. Because as it is right now, it's very difficult for us to get rid of the water and they will just continue to be in the environment as breeding sites. This is a tile which has been discarded, but it's just in the backyard. And what we have now is apparently rainwater has now settled inside there and we have it breeding a the ADs are back to the breathing inside here. It can be used as a enclosure for your plants, like a potted plant situation. So what we'll show you now is how we can have it filled with dirt that will ensure that when rain does fall, mosquito will not breathe in it. There's also a method of stacking the tires so that they will not collect water. We advise the tire shop owners to, for each tire that they get, to punch a hole in each of the tires. Once that is done, they can stock them in this platting form. So they have one row going in a particular direction and then another set going in the opposite direction and they will continue with this. What this does, it allows the water to be directed towards where the hole is bored. So even if the rain comes and water goes in, the water will not settle but go out. We know that most churches have what is called a baptismal pool. And we have found baptismal pools to be a major breeding site for the Aedes aegypti mosquito. So what is it that churches should do? We recommend that all baptismal pools be covered properly so that the mosquito will not have access to it for breeding. Sometimes the pools are shaped very funny and so it's very difficult to cover. In those instances, we ask persons to empty the pool at least once per week. And after emptying the pool, we ask that you scrub the sides to ensure that you have dislodged all the eggs. So we saw many sites that were breeding the Aedes aegypti mosquito today. And we saw that these sites were found in and around our homes, business places. And if we do not deal with these breeding sites, they are going to continue to be there, posing a risk for the transmission of diseases because they are breeding the Aedes aegypti, the mosquito. So you must take action to rid your environment of those sites. So what is it that we're asking you to do? We want you to make this a habit. Once a week, search for and destroy the breeding sites of the Aedes aegypti mosquito.